Welcome to Money Conversations with Arisa. Today we have a message from Tommy. Tommy, talk to me. Dear Arisa, my name is Tommy. I work in real estate. My salary was 120K. After the lockdown, management decided to slash salaries by half and introduce commission earning. So basically, I now earn 60K. I can barely survive on the salary now. I don't even know how to manage it. Please, can you help me understand this budgeting better to know if it will help my situation? First of all, Tommy, I just want to say sorry that this is happening to you, but a lot of people are in very tricky financial situations post-COVID, right? But we just have to push through it. Now, my first instinct is to say, cut your expenses ruthlessly and find ways to increase your income. But I realize that it sounds glib because really, what does that really mean? right cut your expenses ruthlessly it's easy may i call the trick go walk or may i not shop because at the end of the day expenses have gone up drastically transportation is now double food costs have increased so it's tough right but i'm going to say one thing your budget is not magic but it is magical right so there are going to be many people in your situation who say mm, i beg they said i should budget is it magic i've been budgeting since what happened it's not, it's not going to solve anything, right? But yes, your budget is not magic. Just because you start budgeting doesn't mean that money is going to magically appear into your account. But it's magical because it allows you to see your true position and it allows you to allocate your limited resources intentionally, right? So the person who says, mm, my income has halved and, they've, um, and they just keep going about their lives and saying, I beg you, go better tomorrow you know we'll keep pushing and whatever and they're not taking any actions they're going to get stuck at some point but you who sits back and says let me really re-examine my expenses let me really re-examine my budget is going to be in a better off situation and i'll tell you why there are strategies to budgeting there are strategies to working your budget so i'll share three budgeting strategies that can help one cut your expenses ruthlessly yes i said it <laughs> but let me tell you how look at your expenses divide them into fixed expenses and variable expenses now the reason that you want to look at your fixed expenses is because things like rent right you've already pre-committed to paying that amount so it's not going to change if you said you are paying your landlord 500,000 you owe your landlord 500,000 is a fixed cost right now you may not be able to reduce the cost of rent right now but it's important to look at it because you need to set milestones right if i'm able to get my income back up i can i can afford to live here if i don't um get my income back up then maybe this is something that i have to look at in the future to um to reduce or to cut because your rent should not make up more than 35% of your income. It's not an easy thing to cut out of your budget because it might actually cost you more to move to a new place. But it's an important thing for you to look at and be mindful of and make plans for. You don't want to wake up when your rent is due and be like, oh, hello, landlord, my salary was half six months ago. You want to start paying attention and making a plan. An example of variable expenses is things like diesel, things like data, right? Now, with variable expenses, they're easier to cut down because the more you use them, the more uh, money that you spend. So for example, your data, the more you're on Instagram, the more you're on WhatsApp, the more you're making um, WhatsApp calls, the more data that you use, right? So if you are spending 20K every month on data, now maybe it needs to be 10, right? Maybe you need to find ways to cut um expenses on data so that you can create an extra income to pay for something in your fixed expense um column now things like diesel it might be things like i can no longer afford 24 hour electricity now the generator can only be on for three hours every day we just have to make changes right so you make sacrifices so saying that you need to cut your expenses ruthlessly doesn't mean that it's going to be easy it doesn't mean that it's this you know flippant thing that people are just saying but the reality is your income is now half you not get so your life has to adjust accordingly the second um strategy that i wanted to share was Yes, you have to increase your income. I love the fact that your boss um, combined commission with the half salary. Now, it's frustrating because it 
takes you out of your comfort zone. Now you have to work way harder to make up the other half of your, your income. But the great thing about commission is that it depends on your perspective. With commission, it means that there's no limit to what you can earn, right? So the more, the harder you work, the more you hit your targets, your profit goals, the more you, um, the more commission that you earn, right? So if you really truly focus on that, you can actually end up earning more money than if um, you had a fixed salary, right? But again, you know, easy. If it's easy, everybody go do them. We'll all be selling things, but there's a strategy to it. You need to set sales goals. You need to think strategically about how you're going to now meet um, new clients, sell to new people, how can I use social media to showcase um, the, the products and services that my company offers? How can I start calling old clients that I feel like might still have disposable income in this period? Wh who do I need to get in front of? You need to have a strategy and sell, sell, sell. Because now you have to be thinking like an entrepreneur. You're no longer dependent on the fixed income that your boss gives you anymore. If you don't work, you don't eat. But guess what? There, there's an upside to that as well, right? So the third thing is you need to sit down and have a real conversation with your employer, being mighty respectful. I'll tell you why. Now, the first thing that your employer owes you, the first respect that your employer owes you is your salary, right? So obviously these are tough times and you have had to be understanding about the fact that your income is now half, right? I think that they, you should have a conversation to explain that now that your income is half, it means that your expenses um, have to also reduce and transportation costs have doubled. So if it was costing me 200 naira to get to work before, it's now costing me 400 naira or 500 naira. And I will not be able to, as I've, my income is now half, I'm probably not going to be able to come to the office every day. Is it possible for me to work from home three times a week? so that I limit my um, transportation costs. Because at this point, if I'm paying for transportation and food and earning only half, I might as well not be going to work. I might as well just stay at home, right? I think that explaining that and asking for ways for them to subsidize your, um, your transportation costs might be something or some of your expenses might be a conversation that's worth having maybe they have a staff bus that can pick up some people that can reduce the cost just have the conversation maybe there's an allowance for data um, maybe there's an allowance for um, you know phone calls have that conversation so that they understand that yes I'm being understanding by accepting a pay cut but please be understanding about the fact that my expenses you know have changed and we need to change the way we work to accommodate that so another conversation you probably want to have with your boss is commission what is the structure of this commission how is it going to be paid do i get commission after every single sale that i make so when i sell property or i sell some of the products or services of a company is my commission paid immediately or is the commission going to be accumulated and paid at the end of every month or is it going to be accumulated and paid at the end of every quarter i feel like there needs to be clarity about how it is going to be paid on both the employer and the employee side and what each um, what is the commission exactly? Is it 10%? Is it 15%? What is it? Because I find a lot of employees are re reluctant to do this commission thing because A, it's harder. B, they feel like they might be treated unfairly. I don't want to work so hard, finish selling um, properties for the company and then story went the matter start speaking English when it's time to pay my money. I hope that helped. If you struggle with budgeting and you need help, I said fix my budget. You want to um, sign up for my Smart Money 30 Day Challenge, which is starting on July 13th. You can sign up um, in the link in my bio. And yeah, you'll be getting one financial task in your inbox every day and weekly group coaching calls, as well as three Smart Money toolkits to help you fix your finances. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.